In this video, we are going to talk about the musical alphabet and how that applies to the neck of a guitar. The musical alphabet, you can apply to any instrument, especially in the Western world. Um, and that means guitar, bass, piano, clarinet, violin, viola, whatever you're playing, this is going to apply. So this is a foundational musical concept. The musical alphabet is really quite simple. It's just the letters A through G with sharps and flats between them. And we're gonna get more into that, but let's just go over what the musical alphabet is and then we're gonna flip over to a diagram of the guitar neck and show you how that all applies. So the musical alphabet is simply just A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then that goes back up to A, right? So you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G back to A. Between the A and the B, there's a note called A sharp or B flat. Now, this little hashtag symbol right there or this lowercase b, that hashtag symbol stands for sharp and that holds true uh, in any music. Even if you pick up a, a score from Beethoven or Bach back in the day, you'll see that little symbol. It's been around forever. And that little lowercase b means flat. So why does this note have two different names? Well, if I'm, and I just wanna say generally speaking, if I'm going from A and I'm going this direction, I'm gonna call it A sharp. If I'm going the other direction, if I'm on the B and I'm going down to it, I'm gonna call it B flat, okay? Now, these notes, these kind of incidental notes, let me get rid of all this drawing here. There, there is not one between B and C, okay? So just B goes straight to C. C has a C sharp or a D flat. We have the same thing with between D and E. Now there's not one between E and F. Maybe I'll put a little cross there just so you can see that there's not one there. Then we have one between F and G, and so that's gonna be F sharp or G flat. And then you have one between G and A, and so that's G sharp or A flat. So really, if we break this down, the full musical alphabet is A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D flat, okay, D, D sharp, E flat, E, F, I'm gonna run out of space here, but we'll make it work. F sharp, G flat, <laughs> G, G sharp, A flat. So there you go, we made it, we got it all on there. So this is right here, every possible note that you're going to run into on the guitar. And the reason I wanna show this to you is because a lot of times you can look at a guitar and it looks like there's maybe hundreds of notes on the guitar, but there's not. There's actually 12 notes, period, just laid out throughout the fretboard. So the nice thing about you understanding the musical alphabet here is that you can eliminate that fear of going, how am I gonna memorize 50 notes or 100 notes? All you have to memorize is 12. And the nice thing about the guitar is there's so many patterns and different things we're gonna talk about that you know memorizing these 12 is not as daunting as it might feel. So that is the musical alphabet. Let's go through it one more time. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then we go right back to A. So let's talk about how this applies to the guitar fretboard, okay? 